Hey everyone, let's talk about another defenseman the Leafs could target this season. It's Mario Ferraro from the San Jose Sharks. Elliot Friedman said it a couple times now that the Sharks are open for business. Could be a lot of defensemen. And Mario Ferraro is on the top of a lot of teams' list in terms of Sharks targets. So just looking at my guy Bertuzzi and Revo runs the Atlantic on Twitter, uh, posting this snippet of Elliot Friedman talking about it, saying the Oilers could have interest. And that the Leafs are also believed to have interest in Ferraro, uh, Mario Ferraro, Ontario boy, uh, Jen on Twitter also getting a snippet of a little conversation Ferraro had earlier in the year. And if you go to the article itself, it's kind of just like, what team or player are you most excited to watch this season? And Ferraro answers the Leafs saying Noah Gregor, who's his good buddy, and Dylan Gumbrell, who's also in the Leafs organization. So my suggestion is, if the Leafs were only to acquire one defenseman, Maybe this is how your defense looks. I think you could probably entice the San Jose Sharks with either Lilligren or Timmins, move them, in, move one of them in that deal, and then get Mario Ferraro. Ideally, it's Ferraro and Jake McCabe as your second pair in this scenario. But I'm just saying, in terms of like balance, and Benoit and McCabe have looked good together recently. I just think this is better balance. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a shutdown pair or a physical pair, Ferraro and McCabe, it could be Riley Brody, Ferraro and McCabe, and then maybe Benoit and Lilligren on the third pair. But I think if you're the Leafs, you're trying to get two defensemen. I think in an ideal scenario, and I'll just outline this, if the Leafs could utilize cap space, maybe get a team to retain, maybe best case scenario is Riley, if you get a guy like Tanev, then Ferraro, Brody, and then Benoit, McCabe, and then in both those trades, in the Tanev trade, maybe you trade Timmins, and in the Ferraro trade, you trade Lilligren. There's not a lot of puck movers there, but in that scenario, you could probably have Riley on the number one power play unit and then have Brody on the second power play unit. Not ideal. Um, you could also run five forwards in the second unit, but again, not ideal. I, I, I wouldn't even mind Jake McCabe, actually, on the second unit. You know, Jake McCabe, not the most offensive, but he actually creates space at times. And even the other night when he creates kind of the screen on the Nylander uh, goal, makes a drop pass, makes the screen. So the Leafs ideally would have Timmins or Lilligren as puck movers because if there's one thing that we learned in the Florida series, obviously the physicality, the Leafs weren't there, but also movement, movement and I would say breakouts from the defensemen. So getting guys, moving the puck quicker. That's why they tried to bring Klingberg in. Obviously a horrible experiment, but that's the only thing I would say. I think if there's a scenario where you keep Timmins or Lilligren, I think that's ideal. So I'll flip it. Say you trade Lilligren in the Ferraro trade. Have Riley Brody, then Ferraro, McCabe, and then Benoit, Timmins as your bottom pair. I'd be worried about the speed on that bottom pair, but again, it, it's just kind of spitballing. But I think the Leafs, could make a trade for Ferraro. I think the Sharks would probably ask for the first round pick because the term, he's got a couple of years left, I believe, at about $3 million, So that's a really good deal for Ferraro. A first, Lilligren for Ferraro and maybe a mid-round draft pick. So the Sharks get the upgrade on the draft pick. So maybe if I had to take a guess, I could see a trade going down like a first and Lilligren for Ferraro and maybe a third round pick, something like that. Again, a lot of Leaf fans are still high on Lilligren, but you're getting a proven guy in Ferraro. And uh, I think he can right away play heavy top four minutes. And that's what you want in the playoffs, right? Lilligren's a little high risk. So you give up the pick upgrade and you give up Lilligren to get Ferraro. So give me your thoughts, guys. If this could happen for the Leafs, getting a guy like Ferraro could be huge. Um, we'll see what happens going into the trade deadline. I'm sure the Leafs acquire at least one defenseman, maybe two. So subscribe, like, comment, notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.